Hey, you. Don't you keep ignoring me. And the fabric is talking to me. Okay, nope, nope. I've been sitting here on this shelf for three years watching every other piece of fabric get turned into something nice, and I'm just wondering when is my turn? I'm sorry, things have just been really busy. Girl, no more excuses. <laughs> I know you're going to see the Barbie movie this weekend, and I would make a perfect dress. Yeah, you make a good point. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, fine. Stop bugging me about it. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Jeez. Whoa, whoa. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. That's right guys, this week I made a super girly pink gingham dress from this thrifted bedsheet. Not directly inspired by the Barbie movie, but it is the perfect excuse to finally tackle this idea I've been sitting on for three years. I knew I wanted a sweetheart neckline bodice with a full gathered skirt and a ruffled hem, but I still felt like I needed something more, either a puff sleeve or a shoulder ruffle to be determined later. I used this pattern by McCall's for the sweetheart bodice and this pattern by Vogue for the skirt. Self-drafting a skirt would be pretty easy to do, but what can I say, I was feeling a little bit lazy. This bedsheet is supposedly a queen size flat sheet and a 60% cotton blend based on the manufacturer's tag, but it kind of looks homemade. Like why is the edge of the sheet the selvage? I mean at least then I knew which direction the grain ran. Normally I would do a mock-up, but since I've used both patterns before, I felt pretty confident jumping right into cutting out my fabric. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oops, I forgot I have a roto blade. A roller blade? No, a rotary cutter. But it's way easier to use for those smaller pieces that fit on my cutting board. Man, I really should just get a bigger cutting board. I attached the pocket pieces to the skirt panels, then attached skirt front to skirt back along the sides. And was about to start putting together the bodice. When I realized I needed a lining. Thankfully, I had a huge fitted sheet in my stash, fiber contents unknown, but it is very soft and felt like it would be a comfortable lining. Mmm, look at that disgusting carpet. Yummy. I then clipped the curves, not sure that this is the right tool for that, but it works, and finished all the seams on the serger, and then pressed them flat. For the rounded seams, I used the side of my slipper in place of a tailor's ham. Could I have potentially melted the rubber sole, causing chaos destruction and a ruined project? Yes, but I didn't, so there you go. So all the building blocks of the dress are created. I think what I need to do now is start assembling it from top to bottom. Um, what is that? Oh, it's someone's lawnmower. So I need to make the straps before I can put together the bodice with the lining, before I can put on the gathered skirt, before I can put on the gathered ruffle, before I can put in the zipper. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna work on the straps and I think I am gonna make a little shoulder ruffle after all. The shoulder straps are just two long rectangles folded in half that I would then sandwich my shoulder ruffle inside. Speaking of which, I first drafted out this vaguely moon-shaped pattern with some scrap fabric for the ruffle and gathered it along the inner curve. Nothing like testing a shoulder ruffle while already wearing a shoulder ruffle. It's like I have a type or something. But honestly, that first attempt looked pretty good, so I ran with it. To reduce bulk on the edge of the ruffle, I surged the edge and then folded this under. It only occurred to me like two hours after completing this step that I could have done a rolled hem but I don't care enough to redo it. I think it's fine. After gathering the inner curve, I sandwiched the ruffle inside the strap, first by basting it to the underside, then top stitching the strap closed around it. Adjusting the placement of the straps took forever and involved a lot of stabbing myself with sewing pins, so let's just skip ahead to putting the lining on the bodice. With the straps turned down and right sides together, I sewed the lining to the bodice along the top edge. Gee, can you tell that I like gingham? After checking that everything lined up okay, I clipped the curves, pressed the seam, and understitched the lining. Mm -hmm. 
With the bodice complete, it was then time to gather and attach the skirt. Ooh. Then add a zipper. Oh, I missed. Ah. It's not an invisible zipper, but I kind of treated it like one with how I installed it, and I think it turned out really clean. And lastly, I added a ruffle along the bottom. This was basically just a super long rectangle noodle. I don't know the exact measurement I used, but it was somewhere between 1.5 and two times the bottom circumference of the skirt. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. This Barbie is sweaty, and I was only outside for like 25 minutes. So this may just be the best thing I've made thus far. Both from a technical skill standpoint, I feel like everything went pretty well. And just because I love it so much, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna wear this a lot. That being said, there is one little fix I need to make. I don't know if you can notice, but there is a little bit of gapping here in the bodice on both sides, like under my arms, which is weird because when I was trying this on as I went through the process, like I do continual fittings throughout, didn't notice any issues. But now that everything is put together and everything is all said and done, I am having a little bit of gapping. I think I can just add like a little dart here, that should probably take care of that. And then just if I were to do this again, these are not issues that I have with the dress that I would worry about fixing, but if I were to do this again, I would make the bodice just a little bit longer so that it comes all the way down to my natural waist. It's just a little bit above my natural waist, which honestly gives me the illusion of having longer legs, so it's not really that big of a deal. And then I would also make the skirt a little bit fuller, more like a circle skirt, because when you do a gathered skirt from the pattern that I used, it's kind of just rectangles well, more like trapezoids. It's kind of just trapezoids, and so you don't really get that full swooshiness that you would get with more of a circle skirt, but that doesn't affect how much I love this. I am for sure wearing this out when we go see the movie later tonight. Are you guys gonna go see the Barbie movie? Are you guys gonna go see Oppenheimer? Are you gonna pull a Barbenheimer? These are very important questions. We would do the Barbenheimer if we had time. I think we're gonna have to go see Oppenheimer next weekend. Okay, well that's all I got for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week, and I'll see you next time. Bye! No, that's not right. I'm not good at snapping. Hold a breather, recycled air. Yeah. I feel very phlegmy and mucusy right now. Yuck. This is utter insanity. <laughs>